Alright ladies and gents, boys and girls, I know everybody was just dying for an update on this. So, called TCI today, spoke with one of the sales reps there, and was able to figure out two things, which one I had kind of halfway suspected before, and I had called and emailed about, and I don't know if the dude just didn't want to hear me out, or didn't pay much attention to the email, but I went to the extent of pulling up the instructional from the modified version of this for this picture. Just the overview of all the parts and circled everything that he sent because I had six items and there were seven on the invoice. So, the items I got were, one, this frame piece. This was the modified frame piece that includes this bar, which was one of the other pieces. But it joins the two frame rails. So it's that frame slip, this frame slip, this new bar that links the two, the new panhard bar, which is a larger, thicker diameter. And it's supposed to be shorter than this one, actually. Uh, these tabs up here for the trailing arms on each side. The bolt kit. And I think that is it. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and six being the bolt kit. Pretty sure that's all of it. So... Couldn't figure out what the seventh item was. Now the seventh item, I was trying to ask, like go through with him, what each part was on the invoice, like how it was labeled. Cause it was written out kind of confusing. Cause they were like, everything was written out as panhard bracket. Like these, both of these are listed as panhard brackets. I, I, don't, I don't get it. Those should be something, some kind of frame, something or another, since they actually bolt to the, or weld to the frame. These were, uh, they were listed as something bar, but there were three things that said bar. And one of them said, or actually two of them, one of them said Panhar bracket, which I later found out was this thing. So they were supposed to send me one of these and didn't the first time around. My guess is because this is actually modified on the new version. I know it doesn't have this hole in the middle. And I'm pretty sure it's designed slightly different. So anyways, when I talked to them today, they're hooking me up. So since I had already technically paid for this and never got it, they're sending me this. They are sending me the correct length of this. Now they were gonna just send me the bar that they had, which they, uh, he called me back and said, he talked. He went to turn in the order to his manager and they he made a comment about Mustangs have a bunch of discrepancies and to make sure that I was happy, satisfied, and got what I needed. He wanted me to get a measurement of an eye to eye for where it needed to be. So I came out here, measured it out, gave him what should be correct, and he's hopefully gonna get it sent out tomorrow, and I'll hopefully have it by this weekend, maybe? I doubt it, but I mean, it's, it's Monday now. If it ships UPS, I think UPS delivers on the 4th too, but It'll be great if I get it by the weekend so I can actually do work and get this finished. Now the plus is, since he's sending me a shorter bar, I may or may not actually use the new panhard bracket. Since this one's already chopped, and all I would have to do is pop it right there and weld it back, I may just do that. Depends. I'll have to look at the other one see how it fits up and see where it places it. But... They're hooking me up. It's not, I mean, I, I would hope that they, they'd take care of me and do do me right as far as this. Because like I said, the pan hard bracket down there, I never got. They sent me the wrong length of that. So I would hope that he wouldn't gonna try to charge me shipping or some other crap. But they're, they're doing good. And as long as he actually gets it shipped out tomorrow and it doesn't come snail mail, I will be highly satisfied from the position I was in previously. Uh, I want to say whenever I first got those pieces, it, it took me, it took like a week to get 
these things that like the the modified stuff that I ordered. Like it took them that long to ship it out to even send it. And I don't know if it was waiting on parts to get made or what. I don't even remember, but that was way back in January when I did all that stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to get the the rear end finished up this weekend. If the parts show, I can get the rear brakes fit up. I can get these axles put in. I could actually put wheels on this car. So the things I still have to do while I'm at this making a video, I have to get my filler sending unit thing in the gas tank. Puppy, what are you doing? Had to mount the gas tank up. I haven't mounted it yet for two reasons. One, having it out allows me to, some room to sit here and mess with the rear end. Two, my fuel pump I need to mount up. My fuel pump I plan to hang off of this lip. I already have bolts here where I hung previously down this end. These three here are where my previous one was. There are actually, it's these four, I think. Yeah, there's four there. One right here. There's another one down here that'll have to be drilled out bigger. And I'll probably pop another hole somewhere in here. These, I plan on getting a sheet of stainless that's gonna probably be about, I don't remember what this length was that I measured, but it needs to drop down about, I don't even remember six inches something like that but I found a place to sell sheet metal online for a decent price where I can get stainless from and hopefully that'll work out so I'll get that ordered and mock it up and then I can do my fuel lines what I'm probably gonna do now since I don't have a whole lot I can mess with I don't feel like getting disgustingly dirty I'm gonna start straightening out this brake line and mocking it up so I can get my brakes to the rear ran. The front shouldn't be a problem. The rear lines are gonna be two fuel lines and the one brake line coming back. I haven't quite laid out for sure how I wanna run them or I don't remember exactly how I wanna run them. So I'll have to play with it a little, try to figure that out, but I'll make another video whenever I get to that point. But I mainly just wanted to give an update for this TCI stuff and say where I was at on it. But um, I'll probably make another video this weekend if those parts come in, once I get them welded up and I'll have to repaint the rear end where I weld. So other than that, that's it guys. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next update if you're interested.